I'm Jay Flash for Spy Game Studios. We're here at the beautiful Wilshire Country Club for the 17th Annual Emmys Golf Classic. Uh, Bruce Thomas, what brings you to the Wilshire Country Club today? Uh, to support the uh, Television Academy Foundation, that's for sure. Um, it's great to have some guidance when you're in college and school. I, I, for me personally, when I was coming out of school from New York many, many, well, a couple decades ago, uh, I have no, had no idea what I was doing. So it's really nice for the industry to reach out to, to anybody that needs a little guidance. It's a beautiful thing. This is an opportunity for us to raise money for the foundation. And the foundation is designed to support the internship programs, the faculty seminars, and our, our library of interviews of uh, executives and celebrities in the business. The goal is to inspire and enrich those from different socioeconomic backgrounds. These are going to be the future leaders of television and give them a chance to uh, expand the industry, to be a part of the industry, and to continue to celebrate and preserve the history of television. Was there anybody early on that was a mentor or an inspiration to you? Um, actually, oddly enough, uh, one of the guys nominated for lead actor, Matthew Reese, one of my best friends, and uh, you know, played my brother and brothers and sisters. And uh, Donald Faison is uh, is another one of mine. Right back to when I was ready to go to drop out of high school and go into the service, I had a a teacher from way down the hall go, "Banks, you're a chicken. I see you watching those rehearsals through the gym window." Why don't you audition for the junior class play? And and I did, and it changed my world. I was 14, 15 when I started. Um, De Niro and Chas Momentary first gave me my first break. You know, Charles Durning uh, inspired me early on. James Cagney, you know, when I, the reason that I, uh, I got into this business when I saw James Cagney dance down the steps of uh, uh, the White House in Yankee Doodle Dandy, I knew there was something about that that I want to be a part of. Well, obviously I was playing soccer, I was a pro soccer player, and I did a cameo in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. And then Guy Ritchie wrote, wrote that, obviously, and, and offered me a cameo role in it. I did that, then we did some reshoots, and he gave me more, and I won Best British Newcomer. And then the next phone call was Jerry Brookline for Gone in 60 Seconds. What would you tell uh, kids out there that are interested in getting in the television industry? I would tell them that to follow their dreams, I would tell them that it's not impossible. I would tell them to stay focused and work really hard and that it's not this huge mystifying thing. It's very practical. If you're passionate about something, get the education and you can do it. And that's a wrap from the Wilshire Country Club for Spy Game Studios. I'm Jay Flats. We'll see you next year.